okay this hi guys it's linda again from the crafting depot and we're going to make this part two and what happened was i um i lost you i hit bumped into my camera and boom it went disappeared so what i'm doing now what i did now was i made a second master board and i used my scraps I tried to make another video. I used my scraps to make the, to fill the back. So you can see without looking at, maybe you can see. Okay, so I used my scraps to make the, um, the back of the ephemera board. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sew around my, the outside. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be right back. So instead of putting you on pause, I'm going to let you watch me sew. So I'm going to sew around the board. And as you can see, I have to bend it up because the arm that holds the camera is in the way. So when I come to the end, I turn it. gently turn it so I don't bump into the camera arm. And then turn it again. completely now we just have to finish it off pull that string get that string out of the way okay done and we'll take that and cut that next what we want to do is pull the string from the back and snip those strings. But they don't move my camera. Move that back. Let me see. Move this this way. <coughs> so now what I want to do is just snip. Am I on camera? Yes, I am. Snip. And turn it over. Snip. What I started doing, I have never seen anybody do this, but I've been doing it. I just put a little bit of glue. A little bit of glue there. And a little bit of glue there. And that'll dry. I don't know if that's a bad thing, but I think it's so I think it's gonna be okay. It just gives it a little bit more adhesive. So this is going to be the outside of our book cover. Stand up. Okay. It's gonna be the outside of our book cover. And my phone is going to die, and hopefully I can keep this charged in without losing you. There we go. Unfortunately, for some reason, let me see if I put my cup there. That'll help. Nope. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now we're back. So here's our cover. So what you will be doing is bending it so that it fits like that. Now the next thing is how am I going? Okay, so this book is 
Let me see. Let me turn this over. Oh, okay, this way. So this book is 11 and a half inches long. Can you see that? 11 and a half inches long. By... Wait, this one second. By five and a half so I have to get paper that's going to fit that and that's the problem so what did I do I took out my um, sketch pad these are some old sketches that I did a long time ago and I'll show you real quick some things that I did a long long time ago eyes Nothing great, but I'm going to rip out one, two, three, 20 pages. So I ripped out 20 sheets, which is going to give me five pages. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up, not all at the same time, and I'm just going to shred off. the ends I'm going to take this this off so I'm going to do the other 18 sheets and I'll put you on pause you don't need to watch me doing this okay so now we have um, 20 sheets that um, are going to make 10 because we need to make the sheets you know if we put the sheets in here they're not going to they're not going to double over and be so we need to take two sheets to make one and I'll show you what I mean let me get my book oh my god the book is right in front of me <laughs> no not this book oh well, my god I'm going nuts this is crazy Crazy though. Okay, here it is. The finished book. So here's the finished book. So inside the book, I used two sheets of paper and sewed them to make one sheet. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did that. And it's a lot of work, let me tell you. Okay, so the first thing I did. Let me see if I remember how I did this. So the first thing I did was I figured out where I wanted. Let me get in camera. Let me see if I can raise this without the camera tilting over. Okay, so the first thing I did was I took my paper and I figured where I wanted it to end at the end. And I know it's too long. And then I know where my middle spine is going to be because I've already bent not bent i folded my let me do it let me do it again to make sure it's accurate i folded my book down like this let me get in camera down like this okay where is the bone folder i don't want to okay i don't want to ruin anything here and here's my spine this is my spine so let me open it again and now I'm going to put the paper in here and I know it's too long we're gonna trim it so now that's gonna be the spine right yes yes and we're going to fold it like that and then we're gonna take another piece of paper move that right there and we're going to line those two sheets up. Okay, we're going to line these two sheets up. And I'm not going to coffee dye this until later. Because I don't want these sheets to rip. So we're going to go like this. Try to get that. It's not even. Let me see. Let me put my glasses on. That'll help. Glasses on, so the top is even, the bottom is not even. 
Yeah, the bottom is even. Why is that? Oh, maybe because of the way that I cut it. Remember I took the trim off? I trimmed it. Okay, so there. And then, so maybe that part is not even. Okay, so now we have, we have our two sheets together. So the next thing I want to do is put it back inside the book. Make sure that's right. And then I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to move this part over just, just so that it's right by where the stitching is. And then I want this part over here to be where the stitching is. Am I in camera? Yes. Yeah, so I'll move it like this. So I can see where the stitching is because I want it on the inside. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to bring over the, the cutter, and I'm going to line this up, line this up at the bottom, find where the, the mark is, and cut that off. Then I'm going to go back and make sure that that is exactly right. Okay, now you're saying to yourself, okay, that's still not going to... Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is flip them around like this. And I'm going to put um, glue stick. Not the entire thing. So I'm going to just put a little strip of glue here. And I'm going to... Fit it in there like that and then I'm going to put a strip of glue in here whoops in here and I'm going to move that over see there's a lot of finagling with this to make sure that it's in properly okay and then I'm going to turn it over and as you can see some of it is so you got to play with it Okay, so then you got that, and then you then you fold it again, and you make sure that it fits in there. And there's your first sheet of paper, but you're not done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to sew it. Now, to move my sewing machine over, and I'm going to... I should have plenty of thread. And I'm going to go in here. And I can actually see where the other piece begins and ends. So I'm going to the machine. And I have it on a straight stitch. Okay, so now this is where the other piece ends and I'm going to turn it and sew the paper and one more stitch and then I'm going to turn it I started sewing when I was 10 years old. Okay, and then turn it. And then we're going to go. once and now we're done and we're going to pull it out and we're going to pull our bottom thread so it tightens there we go and ta-da so now keep bumping into that let me see if I can 
got this rigged right now. Wait a minute. So now we have our so now we have our sheet of paper that we sewed. I'm going to take off these pieces. These scissors aren't working because they're covered in glue. So I gotta clean them. Okay, so now we have our first sheet of paper. I'm gonna do that one more time. And this is gonna be done 10 times because we're gonna put 10 sheets in here, which will give us 40 sheets. And at the end, we're gonna to have to cut it. So I'm gonna do this one more time with you together. So we're gonna take two sheets and get another one. And this time, this time we're going to use this one. Uh, let me see if I can, okay. This time we're going to use the first sheet as our example. So we're gonna take this one, let me move this over. We're sticking here, okay, move that over. Okay, and then we're going to line this up with this and we're going to fold this over. Evenly. And then at the ends, when we have pieces that are st sticking over, we're going to just cut them. And at the end, I used a, I'll show you what I did, how I coffee dyed it. Okay, so then this goes underneath, lined up, okay? And then bring this in camera, line that up. And I think it looks really cool that the paper is sewed. Okay, so then, don't forget that before you sew, you have to figure out how tall you want it. Really important. Before you start sewing, you have to do that. So I put a line there. I move this over. Get the cutter. And I line it up just where I want it, that there, move that out. What's the matter, Baxter? You need to go for a walk? Okay, so now I have my second, and don't feel bad, I just took him out. He just likes to go see his friends in the neighborhood. But it's a rainy day, I'll take you in a little while. Just give me a second, buddy. So then we're going to put this here and we're going to, okay, so our papers are like this. I put a, a strip of glue down the middle of one page and I turned this paper around. I turned it around and lined it up with this one. Then I opened this side and I put a strip down there and I lay it down flat. Move the glue in, and then I go to the sewing machine. Now I did cut this, yes I did. Then I go to the sewing machine. Move that out. And I don't glue the whole thing, I just put a little, enough glue so that it will, um, let me see, can I get closer? Yeah, here we go. Just enough glue so that it stays there while I'm sewing it. Okay, where's that thread? I want to get the thread out. Oh, another good thing when you're sewing, here's a trick. Hold your thread so they don't pop out while you're, whoops, put your, lit, put your arm down. Hold your thread just for, till the needle goes in, then you're good. Because sometimes what happens is the thread will um, 
pull out of the needle if you're if you don't have a lot of thread there okay then turn it and this is going to look really cool when it's all done to do is just put a little bit of glue here a little bit of glue well, let's take that off too and that'll dry and just a little bit of glue there just go over that okay so we just did two pages two pages which will equal four that will fit into our journal like that and so I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to finish the other eight sheets I've done two and I have eight more to go so I'll be right back I'm back okay so um I sewed all 20 sheets together which gives me um, 10 sheets times 4 which gives me 40 sheets back front and back so I have them all together and then when I put them in my book um, they they stick out because what happens is let me see if I can do this without the inside does not go all the way in like I'm not explaining that right but the the sheets that aren't inside Will start sticking out more as they um, accumulate more so what I want to do is trim off about that much of my paper so I'm going to get myself a um, and I figure let me put my pencil in here mark like probably like around here so I'm going to carefully Oh, I don't have all my sheets in here. Look at that. Let's get the rest of them in there. I don't want to make a mistake. Let's see, where's the inside? So get them all in. I'm going to tap them down. And I'm going to get my ruler. I'm going to put my ruler, line my paper up. Let me move it up more, line my paper, and straighten out my ruler, and then I'm just going to gently start cutting. One time I did this and I was pressing so hard, I wound up cutting my hand, so you have to be really careful. You don't have to press so hard. I also cut into my um, cutting board, which I'm not too worried about. Eventually, I'll just get another one. But for now, it works. So move these papers over, and then gently just cut that last piece. And then you have a nice edge. Look at that. Very nice. 
So the next thing you want to do is slip it into your book and check it again, and it doesn't stick out. So now, let me get rid of these papers. And close up my net craft knife. And then what I want to do is make sure that all these papers are lined up. Let me back up. Ugh. I hate when you see oh, that popped out. Okay, that's not good. Okay, it's back down. So that's, I take this off. Okay, that's better. Okay, back in. Okay, so we're lining all our book pages in so there we have the same amount of space on both sides and then what you want to do is a three hole punch so i'm going to use an all a w l so i'm going to look for the middle i'm just going to eye it and i'm going to punch through and i'm going to punch through stick through the bottom and i just wiggle it a little bit come out, go to the top, and punch. You gotta press a little bit. You know, there's a lot of papers. Wiggle it. And then make sure you're lined up again. Yep. And then go to the bottom, about the same equal distance from the as you did from the top, and wiggle that. Okay, so now you have your three-hole punch. And next, I've already prepared a needle. Move this. And what I'm going to do now is go through the middle with my needle and my waxed thread. I have it on here. So let me see if I go down a little bit. Okay. So here we go through the bottom. And you know what? A lot of people measure, they, they measure one, two, you know, four uh, strands across. I'm just going to leave it all together on the spool. And then I'm going to go through the spine and through the papers. Sometimes it comes through easily and sometimes it doesn't. And there we go. So we got through the, we went through the back and now... Oh, we're missing a page. What happened? Okay, you know what we're going to do? No problem. We're going to take this out because one of our pages is not in there. So we're going to pull this out. Now we're going to pull this out the back. We're going to pull it out the front. And we're going to put this page behind this one and then I'm going to poke a hole so that it's even. See one of the pages was not folded in there properly. Okay so now I will line it up again and that's okay. Mistakes happen. Not a big deal. Got to get the wax out and then thread it. So, sometimes this is the hard part, too. Oh, went right through. Thank you, God. Okay, so now we're going to go through the hole, through the spine, in the middle. See, I'm in the middle. Then out the back. Then through the top. Oh, not, not that hole. Through the top. Then I'm going to go through the bottom. That went through nice. Okay, so now we're through the bottom. I'm going to pull this. Which string is it? This one? That one. I'm going to pull that out. And then we're going to pull this a little bit, like that way. And then we're going to go through 
the middle. We're going to come out the middle. And sometimes it's easy, and sometimes you got to finagle it a little bit. There we go. So we're through the middle. And then we're going to pull which string is right. Okay, there we go. So now, so now, I'm going to get my scissor. Let's me have a scissor. Okay, so now what's really important is that you have you have two strings out in the middle and you have what I think they call this the bridge. So you want to pull your strings, one on either side, and then you're going to tie it three times. One, and then you're going to do, I think it's this way too. I'm probably doing it wrong, but that's okay. There's so much wax on this string, it's not going anywhere. Three. Okay, just when you think you're done, you're not. There's more to do. Okay, so when I looked at this, when I was when I first did it, now I didn't, I purposely did not tie dye, not tie dye, I purposely did not dye, coffee dye the paper, because I was afraid that it would all like crumble and fall apart. So this is what I did. Hold on. So I don't really like the way that the white pages look. So what I did was I took 16 ounces of warm water and about three tablespoons of instant coffee. And I put it in this spray bottle and I just started spraying, which is not good to do over here by my, my, um, And then the next thing I did, which I'm not going to subject you to, is I blow dried it for like a couple of seconds. So I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. So I blow dried it and this is how it comes out after I sprayed it. So now you can see the difference between the coffee dyed paper and then the paper that isn't. So I'm going to finish this book and I'll come back when I'm done. I got a lot to do. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So my blow dryer is getting really tired and does not want to um, dry as long. But I just wanted to give you, let me see if I can... Okay, look at how beautiful these papers came out so far. And I love the way that the runoff is here. It looks really vintage. I did most of the book, so I just want to show you. This is just part of it. There's going to be another video because I'm done for today. And I will finish this up tomorrow. So there'll be three videos on this. The first one... Um, stopped because I banged into it or something and I just wanted to sh give you an idea what you can do um, when you don't have paper that's big enough so this is what happened these are the runoffs I think that looks really nice but I'm going to finish this tomorrow and I will post this in the next couple of days and you can see I love the way this the middle spine looks and I love the way that it runs off here so you just have to be really careful not to be in such a hurry. And I am, excuse me, in such a hurry because I'm trying to get this done and finished. So this is part two. Part one was doing the, um, the master board with all your um, scrap papers and then modge podging it and then sewing all around. And that became your spine. And it's got a nice thickness. And then the inside are the papers that I had from my um, drawing days that I put together and sewed to make the inside cert, um, signature, which has 20 pages, which gives you, um, no, 10 pages, which gives you 40. So um, this is going to be really nice. And then I have another master board. Um, where's my other master board? I have another master board right here that will be the ephemera that's going to go inside it and I 
use my scraps to do the inside, um, the back of it. And then once I do the next video, you'll see me cut this out, sew them, and then we'll start filling um, the book. Okay? So I want to thank you again so much for watching my videos. If I inspired anybody, please hit the like and subscribe button because that's how it helps me to get inspired myself to continue doing videos and um, share with you guys. So I wish you all a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.